Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links we used in this video. Today at Solvetic, we will see installing Windows on macOS with UTM. To start, go to the link we leave you in the video description. Here, select the edition and language of the Windows ISO image to use. When you define it, click on the link to download. Then, go to the link we left you in the video description. Now click on download, this will download the UTM utility. Then click on the file. Here copy the executable to applications. After this, double-click on the executable. Wait for the file to be validated. Now click on Open. This will launch the application. Here, click on Create a new virtual machine. Then, click on Virtualize. Select the Windows option. After this, click Browse. Select the Windows ISO image. Confirm that the Install Windows 10 or higher box is active. Now click Continue. Then, define each of the virtual machine parameters, assign memory, disk size, and directory. Click on Save. The machine will be created. After this, click on the virtual machine to start it. You must press any key to load the installation wizard. Now select the initial Windows settings. If you have a key, you must enter it. Then, select the edition of Windows to use. Then, activate the license box. Select the disk where Windows will be installed. Then, clicking Next will begin the system installation. Hey, remember to subscribe Solvetic channel. You must wait for each download and installation step to complete. Afterwards, you can watch as the machine reboots to complete the process. Now wait for the services to start. The devices will then be charged. Then the virtual machine is restarted again. Here you can see the configuration environment being loaded. To start, select the system language. Then, you can set the keyboard language. 
If you need it, add another extra language. Now you will see that the search for updates starts. Wait for it to finish. Then the system is rebooted again. Here, wait for the updates to be installed. Then, you will have access to the general Windows settings on Mac. Here, assign a name to the device. Then assign a password. You must establish security questions. After this, updates will again be checked. Now you will be in the final phase of the installation. Then you can see the system loaded and running. Finally, you can install the utilities. To do this, follow the steps of the wizard. This will help better work between both systems. We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.